not good at coding but still want a high paying tech job then this video is for you hi i'm ashwin welcome back to my youtube channel in this video i will share seven high paying emerging skills that requires no or zero coding before getting into the list please subscribe to the channel if you are a new visitor i make content on career technology and passive income tips for students and young professionals as well do subscribe to the channel to stay updated on latest technologies and career opportunities the first in the list is digital marketing myself a digital marketing manager so i i think i am the right one to talk about this skill digital marketing is something which is growing at a tremendous speed sometimes like people often complain me about salaries of digital marketing but the thing is uh the company that you are applying for the brand that you are working for like it it define your salary but not like a general digital marketing role so digital marketing is all about growing online presence of a particular brand or particular individual in my tenure as a digital marketer like i worked with multiple brands see i improved the online presence of them through seo it's like uh, optimizing content so that the content will land in search results or running paid campaigns through google ads or linkedin ads or facebook ads or the many other things as well like content marketing what content to create how to promote the content there are many things that are involved in digital marketing so basically if you see the evolution of digital marketing since 5 to 6 years the growth is amazing because if the adoption of smartphones increases then ultimately the importance of or the demand of digital marketing will increases if you can see at this moment there are many individuals in the country who are using smartphones with the help of 4G now 5G is coming so ultimately more people will get used to smartphones and more people will have the access to internet easily so digital marketing has good signs from 5G and many other technology if we integrate digital marketing with artificial intelligence there are many wonders that are already happening let suppose uh, if you open instagram or facebook or any other social media platform you see ads right if you notice the ads carefully those are the products or services that you talk in general like if you want to buy a smartphone you're talking with your friend or your family member then ultimately the smartphone ad will be uh, shown in your profile or in your feed that is the power of digital marketing integrated with artificial intelligence whatever you search on google the similar thing will be shown as ads in all other social media platforms so thanks to artificial intelligence Digital marketing can get integrated with many other fields as well. Let's suppose if digital marketing is integrated with Internet of Things, then ultimately based on the items that you store in your refrigerator, you will be shown ads. If you are storing more fruits in your refrigerator, then ads related to fruits will be shown to you in all social media platforms. So that is the power of uh, digital marketing. That is already happening in multiple places, and it's going to happen everywhere in the coming days as well. Similarly, digital marketing can be integrated with many other areas as well. So it is something. that requires really less coding there are many skills that you should know in digital marketing it might be seo or uh, it might be paid campaigns using google ads or linkedin ads or meta ads i have also made a playlist in our playlist on digital marketing if you are interested to learn that you can find the link in comments or somewhere in the description go and check it out so this is the first skill that requires no coding skills and second in the list is ux design so user experience design is getting popular because of the advancement of no code technologies in no code in the sense you don't need to write code these days to develop websites simply with the help of some ux software you can design them there are apps like figma and adobe bixby that you can create design convert them into web pages if you want to learn ux design i will suggest a simple way download the figma and experiment on it sit and work for like i can say 2 to 3 weeks you will get used to figma and you will understand how to create web pages or how to create complex designs using figma it's simple it's drag and drop tool you can have a lot of fun while learning figma figma is one tool that i will suggest because anyone can directly start learning that and if you have access to adobe then ultimately adobe xd is one such popular tool which will help you to become a ux designer and three in the list is digital art wherever you see in internet these days brands are using digital arts and the demand for digital artists are also growing in the same way thanks to midjourney because midjourney made it possible for all the digital creators or digital artists to pursue their career and earn high salaries the reason why digital art is becoming popular because like it's a cost saving technique for many brands like if they want to create illustrations or if they want to create some vectors or create some images it's really difficult they need to spend a lot on photographers on artists or many other vector artists or many other people but with the help of digital art if you can ask the mid journey the right prompt it will help you with whatever the output that you are expecting it's a wonderful tool mid journey i personally using it since uh, two months if you can see most of my thumbnails most of my social media posts i'm creating using mid journey there are many other tools as well adobe firefly beta is one tool which i have already made a tutorial on it's a free to use tool you can directly start using it so yeah mid journey and adobe firefly and still there are many text to image tools 
which increases the popularity of digital art and it requires absolutely no code and if you are someone who are good with creating digital arts then ultimately you will be paid a lot number four in the list is content production it might be video production it might be podcast production content producers are always in demand with the evolution of creator economy there is always some room for content producers to earn high salaries the advantage of becoming a content producer is like you don't need to work for a company you can work for youtubers you can work for podcasters you can work for small brands or medium sized brands you can work for anyone and you can work for multiple people as well so that is the advantage of becoming a content producer so what actually content producers do they will take care of entire content production process let's suppose take an example of this video in order to make this video live i need to do a research first i need to script then then i need to uh, i mean shoot the video then i need to edit the thumbnail i need to edit the video i need to do the post production stuff it's like seo part or putting title i mean even i need to do a research for that or putting keywords tagging etc after that i need to market this video in my social media platforms so there are many different steps involved in content creation process but if you can help brands or individuals to do the same to automate this process then ultimately you will be paid a lot i recently made a video on how you can become a smartphone content creator you don't really need a laptop or high end software for that you can even become a content producer or content creator using your smartphone so i have made a video you can check it out if you want to become one it's simple like you don't need to create videos but helping people to create videos and grow their online presence that is what content producers do in general and fifth in the list is augmented reality and virtual reality it is a fast growing area even if you can see recently apple announced apple vision pro that has created a lot of talk in the ar and vr space it's a future right because it eliminates the distance between people living in multiple countries they can communicate directly with the help of vr and ar it might be gaming it might be entertainment it might be for communication ar and vr augmented reality and virtual reality are growing in a very fast pace of way if you want to learn ar and vr then it's the best time to do that you need a software called unity unity is a very popular software and it's also a game development engine you also need to have some skills like 3d modeling ux design etc in order to become a ar and vr developer download the unity software and also practice with uh, headsets like oculus rift so that you can practice uh, with the software that you have installed it's similar to like game design like, there are many opportunities in the gaming space especially because to create high end games the games like pubg like you need someone with good skills on ar and vr as well it's the best time to learn that you can just type unity tutorial you will find tons of resources to learn that and you don't really need coding knowledge for it because there are many roles which don't require coding in ar and vr space and number 6 in the list is cms web development cms stands for like content management system there are softwares like wordpress which don't require coding knowledge but you can create high end website in hours the good thing about wordpress is like anyone can do that you don't need html knowledge you don't need css or javascript knowledge without any knowledge you can create websites in hours and some individuals are preferring wordpress these days rather than traditional websites because anyone can do that even uh, if someone want to make changes and they don't have coding knowledge they can do that in wordpress and it it might take like couple of weeks to create a simple website by using a uh, coding but using wordpress you can create that in hours it reduces a lot of time and it makes businesses run more smoothly so that is the reason why uh, tools like wordpress are getting popular you can do that in many other softwares as well uh, there are softwares like wix hubspot salesforce adobe adobe aem so there were many softwares which will help you to do that wordpress is quite popular so that's the reason why i have used wordpress example but yeah cms web developers are in demand these days because brands and companies need people who can develop websites in minutes which are user friendly and which are easy to edit easy to make changes so yeah it has a good career you don't need coding knowledge to become a wordpress developer or cms developer because there are many plugins which even take care of back end part as well last in the list is data analysis data analysis is not equal to data science but you need to have knowledge of data analysis in order to become a data scientist but yeah keeping data science aside data analysis is all about analyzing data and presenting it in a more beautiful manner it's like uh, you need to have a research skill you need to have some mathematical skills you need to have a reporting skills there were tools like power bi and tableau which will help you to analyze the data and report it in the form of dashboards so if you can learn one tool or uh, it might be tableau or power bi there are many brands and companies hiring for these roles so there is a lot of demand for data analyst these days so but yeah you need to have a knowledge of tool like power bi and tableau for that apart from that you also need to have analytical skills and some mathematical skills so that you can become a professional data analyst these are all the seven areas 
for seven skills which requires no or less coding but still companies or brands pay huge salaries i hope you find this video helpful if you want someone else to benefit from this video please share this video in network also don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel for more content thank you for watching Thank you.